Welcome to another lifelong learning study skills workshop video. Uh, today we're going to focus on a study technique. Uh, we are going to create crossword puzzles um, as a way of studying for quizzes and tests. Um, the concept here is um, as students are reading, um, they're going to what I call think like a teacher. Uh, as you're reading, um, you're trying to pinpoint big picture ideas and you're trying to think about what are some of the main ideas and the most important information and then you're going to create a crossword puzzle for that. So let's go ahead and get started. Educational psychologists will say that if you just read a text and you do nothing with it, if you just straight up read a chapter, the average person will only recall about 30 to 35 percent of the information they read. And so obviously we want better results than that. So the concept here for today's study technique is that we have to take the information that we're reading and actually do something with it. Because when we do something with the information, we actively engage the text then we will be able to understand the material better and obviously get better than 30 or 35 percent results. So let's pretend that we are reading a chapter in our American history textbook uh, regarding the American Revolution. As you're reading through that text, you're going to come across key vocabulary words, key people, uh, big picture ideas, key concepts, and you are going to create a crossword puzzle um, that later on you'll be able to practice the crossword puzzle and um, hopefully that repetition will help you out. I know when I, I take uh, an Italian class, um, what I like to do is create a crossword puzzle for the vocabulary. So we might have 40 vocabulary words we need to know and I make a crossword puzzle with that and then I print off enough copies for the week and you know every morning during breakfast I'm filling out a crossword puzzle and hoping um, to get better and better each day um, through that that repetition so what you're going to do here is create a crossword puzzle and we're going to use a website called discovery education to create that puzzle now there are some downsides to this this website because it is free which is great but whenever you have a free website typically um, there are features that that are not available because it's free um, and in the particular case here, um, the, the feature that you don't have, you can't save your crossword. So once you make your crossword, uh, and you can copy and paste that into a Microsoft Word document, which I'm going to show you how to do today, but you can't go back and edit it once you've done it. Uh, so that is a downside, but again, if you can copy it onto a Microsoft Word document, save it, and you can print them up, um, there you go. So let's go ahead and go to this website, and let me show you how to go about creating a crossword puzzle. So here we are at the Discovery Education website uh, and that link there that was on the previous screen. And we're gonna go ahead and hit crisscross because that's the type of puzzle that we are gonna create. And it is going to give us an opportunity to make a free uh, crossword. Again, we can't save it, but I will show you how to go about um, copy and paste in Microsoft Word so that you can. Step one, pretty easy. Uh, what's your title? So we're going to call this the American Revolution. We don't really need to mess with step two or three. That just changes the size of the squares. I don't think that really needs to be messed with. Um, and then we're going to go to step four, the most important. And one, we really got to follow what the directions say. Uh, it's pretty simplistic, but let's uh, take a look. It says on each line, enter a word followed by a space and then the clue for the word. So I'm going to put atoms okay oops let's go ahead and spell this correctly atoms the moment i hit space what that is telling the computer is atoms is the word that we want in the crossword when we hit space now the computer is going to say okay what is the clue all right i'm going to put sam and i'm going to put a blank sam blank in other words the answer is going to be adam sam blank was the founder of the sons of liberty period now, once I'm done with the clue and I hit enter, okay, now it's telling the computer that it's ready for the next word in clue. Okay, so let's put Washington, okay, and I hit space, now it's ready for the clue, okay. Who, oops, who was the general during the war, okay. Again, now that went down to the next line by itself. I did not hit enter because when I do hit enter like I am now, it's telling the computer, okay, we're ready for the next word. Bo oops. Boston, space, which city was known for its major oops, protests? 
Okay. Philadelphia. What was the capital oops, of colonial America? And so you keep doing this. And keep in mind, there's some things you cannot, um, like you cannot have obviously numbers in a crossword puzzle unless the words are spelled out. Um, so I'm not going to ask what year was the Declaration of Independence, 1976. Could you imagine how long of a word that would be? Another thing is you can't have two words in a crossword puzzle. Actually, you can, but then it has to be one long one. So I would try to avoid that. That's why if you notice here, um, I put Sam blank and I made that little line there so that the answer is Adams instead of who was the founder of the Sons of Liberty um, instead of making one big long word Sam Adams. Now once you're all done, of course we're going to have more than this, you hit the word create my puzzle. Now depending on what kind of answers you have depends on the combination. Sometimes when it makes it, um, it won't be able to place all the words. In this case it was able to place all four of the words that I created and that's awesome. Now what we can do after this, okay, is that we go up here and we copy all this and then we hit paste, or I'm mean, sorry, we hit copy and now we're going to paste on the Microsoft Word document. So now that I'm in Microsoft Word, I just come over here and I hit control V or, or paste uh, in the edit menu and it's going to um, paste it right there for me and I can hit save. And I can come back to this and print it at any time. Now, can I make change to the crossword puzzle? No, that's the downside to this. And, and by the way, there are a variety of different crossword puzzle makers online. And some of them are premium services that you can pay for and you can save. And it has other great features. Um, I like this one because it's free. It's very simple. And I think it's a great way to study by thinking like a teacher and try to really engage in the text and think, hey, what's the most important about things about this chapter? What are 25 crossword puzzle questions I could create that would best reflect what I've learned from this chapter? Because if I just read, I'm only going to retain about 35% of what I read, and I want to retain more than that. So again, this is a great website. I would write down this website right here at the bottom of the page so that you can access that and um, come back to this video as much as you need to to make sure you understand all the directions and techniques. But I think this is fairly simple. I think it's a great technique, and I, and I hope this, this will help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email there at my Lakota online. Uh, feel free to, to uh, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Panflon, hashtag Study Skills Workshop. Um, and I hope this video helps you out, and good luck with it.